From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Bills Stadium just south of downtown Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And his first look is incomplete. It was Teron Johnson that time who had that play covered from the start. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. Fights him off. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 40. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Brings up third down and six yards to go. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simple to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, 
you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Jerry Hughes drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. breaks through the contact. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and ten. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen on the move to his left. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Singletary here running out of the gun. Number two, two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Allen finding Knox there, complete. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They'll run here with Moss. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. It'll be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Singletary. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll try and run. Here's Singletary. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. It's now fourth and goal. So off goes Allen, and on comes Steven Hauschka for the Buffalo field goal. We're scoreless after one. With no score. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. 
Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Cole Beasley there to make the grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. Ausko with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now to send this one away following the score. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. The ball carrier. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 15 yards on the play. First down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Go, go. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 46. He'll look to throw right away. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Get four here down to the 35-yard line. Singletary, the ball I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second down and six. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 29. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On first down, Allen throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw again, Allen. 
And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Throwing is Allen on third. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Throwing on first down is Allen. Out to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Now second and nine from the 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try and run for this with Moss. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. Singletary, they'll run for it. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Bills. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Big twist score, Bills 14, Steelers nothing. away. Here's Kareth White on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, you know, when we're having a tough patch. 
this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And finally, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's Roethlisberger setting up the screen. This is Samuels. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards there, first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now Roethlisberger on first down. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's second down. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Back to Smith-Schuster, this time complete. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This is third and one, very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range down at the 27-yard line. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. To throw again is Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there and a first down. First down, Pittsburgh. Took nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Ebron with it over the middle. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half.
forth. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Andre Roberts now to return it. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. On second and 12, Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Allen's pass thrown to the sideline and incomplete. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Allen. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Stephon Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger looking middle, and it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Ebron's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Second and five. On the counter, it's Connor. And he stopped immediately there. James Connor. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Oh, 
Roethlisberger will throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Boswell. And for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. On the ground, it's Singletary. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. At the 25-yard line. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Singletary again, and he's able to get up here to the 26. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll run on first down. Singletary, only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Devin Singletary. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Allen's throw is complete, and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards, first down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field, and for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get, but he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He's two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Eight yards to go on second down. They go right back to Singletary. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. That's the Back now in Buffalo. With the score. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. The Bills on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. From the gun, it's Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. 
And the Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that were happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, Roethlisberger. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it and again get those first downs keep possession of the football six yards on that last play here's second and four they'll keep it on the ground singletary and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards on the play first down and i'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here grind out some yardage work on that clock see if you can continue to tick it down definitely you want to bleed things out at this point right continue to possess the football gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense do they have to use timeouts what are they going to do to stop you you're taking charge on first down singletary and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 12. Allen escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And now they'll throw with Allen. That is incomplete. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Incomplete. It's second down and 10. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again. Allen. Going up top. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. 
Dawson Knox, 37 yards. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. They worked out for six. Send this one away following the score. Here's White. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Ben Roethlisberger and the offense down by 15. 2-12 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Got an open man. It's Washington. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now Roethlisberger and hitting Juju on the slant. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Now they have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a dump off here complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes. Three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. You got the big lead defensively. You're willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Roethlisberger got to get his guys to the line as quick as he can. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And the intended receiver out of the backfield was Jalen Samuels. And it'll bring up third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Ben to throw again. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again, it's Roethlisberger. His pass caught at the four. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. 
Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because First if you go for well, two here uh, and you don't yeah. get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. And he's got it up and through. Makes the score Bills 21, Steelers 13. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. Oh, and I think they got it. Yes, the Steelers have it. So they've accomplished half the mission, Charles. They get the onside kick. They do need a touchdown here, but they've got some time to do it. In the excitement, there's no need to press. Plenty of time. They have the opportunity. Now they just need to execute and finalize things. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Back to throw. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Roethlisberger wide open receiver complete the Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game back to back good plays have them on the move on first down He's back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Pass incomplete. Intended for Jalen Samuels. It's third down. And five yards to go. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Roethlisberger looking for the end zone and nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. It's now fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. One last shot for Roethlisberger. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.
so that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.